In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Bro, Kurt, what the s*** Look at this man a fire extinguisher, man. I want both for you. Get some lung cancer, bro. You ready? I'm ready, sir. Come with me, please. Okay, this court's going to be in session at this time. Lawsuit is Sammy Falcon Jr. versus LSSO and Lieutenant Dubs. I am going to proceed by letting the defense go first. Thank you, Your Honor. According to the affidavit signed by Sammy Falcon's attorney, he claims that on, on February... 14 of this year, uh, around 11 p.m. Eastern Time, his Aww. car suffered the damage because of uh, actions caused by police enforcement, and he's claiming, for what we understand, an amount of $250,000 for damages and hospital bills. In this moment, the defense opposes the payment of such, of such amount or any amount, because due to the process, we will prove that the consequence of the car of the car accident was all responsibility of Sammy Falcon Jr. and the of both Lieutenant Dobbs, both Lieutenant Dobbs and the Sheriff's Department uh, performed their duties according to law. Thank you, Your Honor. Prosecution. Okay, I'm gonna prove that he was reckless with his uh, method here. The LSO uh, needs to re-ramp their SOPs here. They endangered, they endangered the lives of uh, myself, my uh, passenger there. And I was taken to a certain location and two other vehicles behind me. I don't know how many people were involved. But it was just a reckless. My car, uh, my son's car was pretty much almost totaled. Um, he had to go to the hospital. And he's been suffering ever since. He's having nightmares. Can't really Lucky for him, Daddy's wallet is fat. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll. Okay, I'm gonna call uh, Lieutenant Dubs up and uh, question him real quick. I mean, thrill, thrill. I mean, his dad is a lawyer, so shit. If uh, <laughs> if we can get uh, bailiff. the bailiff to swear him in. Uh... All right, sir. Please raise your right hand over this Bible here. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, sir? So I'll help you down. Okay. What were you doing yesterday around 11 p.m.? About 11 p.m. We were um, in for a motorcycle. Who was occupied by an individual whose name will not be closed at this time due to the um, relevance of the case. It has no relevance to this in this case. So, um, at the time we were in the search for in the Sandy Shores area, the Sonora Freeway um, panhandle. At that time, we were unable to find him, and I was on my way back up to Polito. Okay. So, when did you come across my uh, client, Sammy Falcon Jr.? Your son. Say it again? Did you say your your son. Uh, your Honor, the, the lieutenant might need a glass of uh, you water. Need a, you need a drink. Yeah, he needs some water. Okay. okay. So when did you run? When did you run across my client, Sammy Falcon Jr.? Uh, at the time, on my way to Polito, we did receive a 911, and after it went through dispatch and came up on our our computers and our vehicles, is whenever I came across your client, aka your son, aka Sammy Falcon Jr. at the the very Okay, I, t I was told that you were uh, in charge of the whole operation there, correct? Uh, the sheriff, he would be the one 
in charge, but I was making the shots group. Okay. So what was the reason for the spike strips out? Did you guys try to pull him over at all at any time? Objection. Or? Relevance Objection. of the question. We're not discussing the spikes. We're discussing the events well, of that caused the, the, yeah. the incident. Well, the spike strips are what caused the event. I'm going to sustain it. Can you? So what? So did you guys attempt to pull him over before you spiked? I, or did you guys just spike every vehicle were not, control? No, the spikes are not on my behalf. I'm not 100% percent sure of what Curtis. the spikes were for or intended for. I was pulling up Black Taurus at the time. Bro, I, I wasn't there for this. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. Now, I was fuck? told that you told Sammy Falcon Jr. you're Pickle in charge me. of the whole operation. Curtis, get this correct? Shit out of my Once face. again? Uh, objection, leading question. Have. He is asking, he's giving the answers okay. by the question. Okay, 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 okay. So, I asked you earlier, who, now I want you to state again, who was in charge of this operation? It would be Sheriff was, McCarthy, but I may have been making shots at the time. So you were taking point? Essentially. Alright, so, um, did you guys explain to him right away, did you guys offer EMS when you guys spiked this car? Like I said, I wasn't there. The spike strips, were as I was pulling over a black Taurus, if we're up the spike strips as, at this time, but for me, I was not there. I was there once everybody was out of their vehicles and detained and being talked. I was there okay, maybe about your, five uh, minutes. Okay, what's your procedure on spike strips? They're what's for pursuits and pursuit only. Okay. Um, was the pursuit but at any time before this happened? We were in the middle of a pursuit and we had just lost him in the area. So when you spike someone's car, what typically happens afterwards? What does it have in your SOPs there? Objection, compound question. We confront them. Your Honor, right, that me, last me, question uh, should be restrained, refrained, because he's giving the answer. <laughs> I'm about to, to have you get up and move over there. Okay, typically what happens after you spike right, someone's I'm going to ask you prosecution get to up ask and questions move over there. Last warning. Or incident only and no other. Oh, well, I'm asking questions because I just want to know his, uh, their SOPs on spiking a vehicle. I have to tell you again, you're going to be ejected. If, it, if uh, you know, they call EMS, they call a mechanic or something like that, what, what's the follow-up on uh, spiking a vehicle? That's, that's where I'm going with this question here. I answered your question. I don't, I don't think he was offered, to my knowledge, what he told me was he wasn't offered any EMS, any uh any mechanic to assist him with his vehicle. Objection, call of narrative. He, if he's representing someone and he, he, that someone has something to offer to the court, that that person has to testify. It cannot be done by the proxy because the proxy can misinterpret information. Okay. Uh, do you, do you know do you know who spiked Sammy Falcon Jr.'s car? I do not. What was what was that? I think you need to drink a little bit more water. Sir, Lieutenant Dubs. I do not. Okay. Hey, 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 leave my pig alone, dude. Can we, can we get rid of this pig out of the courtroom, Judge? No. No, we can't. Can somebody get rid of the pig. Pig, Bailiff, you're being ejected from the courtroom. Pig oh, is now ejected from the courtroom. Whoever it is, I believe. Yes, whoever it is, I believe. Yes, 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 I believe. Traffic stop with a black tour. But you're also running, you're you're also running point on this operation. So I, I figured you would have got filled in on what was happening, the reason for uh, the spike. Objection! He cannot figure out things for the for the testimony. The uh, the lieutenant already said he doesn't know. 
Okay. Um, I'm good. You can. Uh, I'm good. Question again. Thank you, Councillor. Go ahead, Sigma. Thank you. Good morning, Lieutenant. I would like to refer. Sorry. I will. Yeah. I would like to refer to the events prior you approaching the place of event. Tell me about any. Uh, why? Why would you be there? Uh, in, in that highway at that, at that location at that time? Uh, my relative location, I was headed back up to Palito, which is my, my point of where I hang out the most to patrol. At the time, while I was on my way up to Palito, I was past the, I believe it's the Union Road exit off of Sonora Way, or not Sonora Way, but, uh, Sonora Freeway, when a team or officer down rang out. I looked over at my GPS locator on the CAD and it point, uh, put a pinpoint to my left on the other side of the median, which was the exact location of Mr. Sammy Falcon Jr.'s vehicle. All right, so I am understanding, sorry, I think your throat is a little sore. I'm understanding that, you're, that the police department received a 911 call for a, so, a possibly officer down and you were to respond on that location. Am I correct with that assessment? That is correct. Right, then you... you what, Buddy, what step over there. What happened after you approached the scene of the so-called 911 call? There were three vehicles on the scene. Um, BMW, a blue BMW being the lead vehicle, a black BMW being the secondary, and a black Taurus being tertiary. Um, at the time, I had to flip around, cut on my lights and siren to... Uh, presence, all three vehicles then sped off at a high rate of speed. Can you tell me the description of those three vehicles that you were trying to stop, please? Uh, the first one would be the blue BMW, the light blue color blue, uh, BMW, looked like it was occupied two times, two doors. The secondary vehicle would be an all I have to ask you to stop taking pictures. Which was occupied one time. And Thank you. the third vehicle was the black horse. Okay. Bro, how do you take pictures? Lieutenant, which of those vehicles stopped and which didn't, if some, if, if that was the case? Uh, I was able to get the black Taurus stopped, and we pulled into the U-Tool. At the time, the other two vehicles proceeded. Very well. Can you tell me what happened after you stopped the black Taurus? I stopped the black tour, had him get out, went over a couple things, grabbed some information from that individual, um, phone number, name, address, email address, everything. So that whenever any other questions or it came down to being him as the individual, I knew exactly where to go and who to find. Okay, Lieutenant, and what happened after you finished your interaction with the driver of the black Taurus? After I finished with my interaction with the black tour, I told him to get back into his vehicle and proceed on with his... Connor, you're going to have to act around. right. Where am I ejecting you from the courtroom? Oh, and that? after he was, uh, he was leaving, that's when I went around the corner, continued southbound Sonora Freeway, and proceeded to roll up and assist with the other two vehicles that were stopped, which were the blue BMW and the Impala. Okay. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry. Cars are trying to be broken outside. Sir, your honor, please remove this no, guy. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. There are cars being broke into. No, come on. Thank you. Okay, Why Lieutenant. So, sorry. Let's recap. You said that after you finished the, with the with the Taurus, you you continued on, on the road and you saw the BMW and the Impala uh, on the side of the road. Correct. Correct. They stopped by approximately five other units. Okay, can you tell me what you did after that? I rolled up and uh, assisted with grabbing everybody's information and taking their sides. What, on, 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 to the extent of your knowledge, Lieutenant, why were the spikes placed on the highway? Uh, I believe they were put there for the pursuit was moments before the teen call. Is it reasonable to assume that those spikes were intended for someone else 
on by the time you were asked, you were got you got the 911 call on the same location. Oh, thanks, Curtis. It is reasonable. It is reasonable to assume that the I'm police sure. department was aware that the spikes were on the highway. Objection! Objection, Your Honor. He's leading. I'll refrain. I'll refrain. Can you tell me an, uh, a brief, uh, brief dis description to your knowledge in what occasion, in what situations do the police department decides to place spikes on the road? Pursuits. Pursuits only. All right. That's it for me. Thank you, Your Honor. I have a more. I have a couple more questions for him, Your Honor. I just looked over my notes there. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Doug. Why don't we ever get trials? Did you, uh, by any chance, what? give Sammy Falcon Jr. a ticket, or was he given a ticket? I believe he was written but I was the one that wrote that. Okay. Did you guys? Did anyone look at the cell phone? Anyone take his cell phone and? Look at CV text at all. Objection. He cannot respond from the, on behalf of the other officers. Well, he was he was the point man in there, so he should be calling the shots. He should know what, what's going on at the scene. That doesn't mean he knows exactly what all PD officers did. Your Honor. Did you request anyone to look at the cell phone? Negative. Now, if someone sends a text message, wouldn't that be something you guys all do? Would if the uh, the caller wasn't using a uh, star sixty, uh, it's a star sixty seven number when they called, which popped up as an unknown caller. So What's wrong? How's that here, man? Did you guys end up shutting down here. that complete highway and questioning every vehicle, or did we you guys did not. just stop we those? We didn't need to. Oh. I I saw the vehicle. Where the location came from immediately after the uh, the call was over, and his vehicle was on there. Did you ask Sammy Falcon Jr. why he stop? I did not. I was not the one stopping him. Okay. Uh, from this statement here, and I'm sure uh, he has it also. He was scratching his head. That's what I uh, got from the statement that he gave me. Objection, ambiguous and irrelevant. Everyone can scratch their own heads, doesn't matter. Well, he, he nope, disregard, I, what I'm saying is he pulled over, he didn't text, he pulled over to scratch his head, okay? Objection, now, that's, a, objection. that's a testimony, it should be taken care of by Sammy Falcon Jr., not his attorney. May okay. I suggest prosecution question straight and on point? Not these okay. ambiguous questions. Motion to dismiss cross-examination, Your Honor. The prosecution just has no more questions. So, hey, Curtis, have you read that sign I, behind you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I do, I do have questions. The sign behind you. Do you think this is a joke, prosecution? So, how? No, negative. Subject to so, search. So, when you <laughs> lost that, oh, that you shit. say you guys were in a pursuit earlier. That's why the spikes are out, correct? Yes or no? Correct. Okay. So, how, how long do you typically leave them out? You pick them up right away once the, you guys lose sight of the car? Till we find them. And sometimes they don't roll back up, so we have to dispose of them another way. So, you let another car drive over them. Is that the way you get, get rid of them? Objection. He's a so, argumentative. So, okay. So, what? how long when you lose sight of a subject do you it takes to pick up the spike strips? Take Why? five Why minutes to pick them up? Does it take a minute up? to pick them up? Or is it right away? It depends. Some of them won't pick up. Some of them we cannot roll back up and Ouch. Yes, Your Honor. Go, you can go down from the stand, sir. Thank you. Come, come back here to my office. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, indoor voice, sir. This, this is literally going okay. nowhere. 
Prosecution, well, what you I'm, have nothing. You have what nothing, I'm, right? Be quiet. Yeah, the, the judge defense is talking. Defense is solid. The defense is solid on this point. If you have anything, any evidence that may suggest that something otherwise <laughs> needs to come forward now. If you have anything that could help you in this uh, case, uh, it should be said now. Uh, I, if not, there's uh, nothing that I can do. It's going to be in the defense's case or defense's ring right here, and they're going to win. You got anything? Okay, I'm gonna, all right, give me a two-minute recess while I, uh, uh, I call a couple people up. I request if they got, uh, uh, any footage in the area. Okay, we will. We'll, I will, I will uh, submit it to you also. I have. Uh, that's fine. I have the authorization to make a negotiation. I offer 5k for repairing any damages that might cause to the car, but we won't pay any medical bills. We won't pay any stress. Was... We will pay. We won't pay anything else. 5k now, paid in cash for uh, for any amendment to possible damages caused by allegedly a misoperation of the SOP from the police department. That's all I can offer now. Sir. Sir, it cost him 50k to repair that vehicle. It had frame damage, airbags replaced, windows needed to replace. It was custom bumper, custom side panel. So, defense, That's... are you denying the press? Are you denying? I mean, prosecution. I... Are you denying oh. the defense's offer? And yes, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna take a recess. Maybe you can talk to your client about. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five minute recess to see if okay. you can get anything. If you have okay. nothing back. Went before the recess is over, then this case is going to be in their favor. They they're going to be the winners, and they could sue you potentially if they great quality. But hey, I mean, look at the job done. It, it, it gets you through the day. If you want something stronger? Let me know. No, uh, you bet. You can let me let me let me actually give you my number. Yeah, sounds good. Give me a card. Well, we're gonna continue. All right. Okay, let's go. Your Honor, I want to call upon uh, my passenger at the time of the ride, Dooster McAllister. Wait. Objection! You were not uh, on the vehicle. He just got it was to... your son. He, oh my God! Already he, with the objection. You just he, was, he was. He was. He uh, was. Your Honor, he was in the passenger seat with my son. Um, he just got into okay, town just now. Were you, okay, prosecution, were you inside the vehicle with these individuals, yes or no? No. Okay. So you're calling Sa Sammy Lopez or Sammy Falcon Jr.'s passenger, correct? Sammy Falcon Jr. passenger, correct. Where is he? He's behind in the white. Right here, Your Honor. You gotta step Bailiff. around and you'll be sworn in by the bailiff over there. Bailiff, swear him in. Your Honor, can we please <laughs> confirm his That's identity simple. with his ID? Yes, uh, uh, as soon as he's sworn in. That's your ID, sir. I'll, I'll swear yep. in first. All right, sir, do you solemnly swear that you'll tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Fuck, I just used... He finally got it. He finally got <laughs> it. Yeah, you guys can ask him his name once, uh, <laughs> once you're there. Okay, you gotta stand up next to the judge there, uh, sir. No, stand in on the other side of there, sir. On my left. On my left. Come on up. Right over there, sir. Okay. How you doing today, sir? Thank you for coming in. I'm I know fine. You have a busy schedule. Uh, I do. Can you tell me the events? Uh, February 14th, 2018, around 11 p.m. Well, myself and Sammy Falcon Jr. were traveling southbound on Great Ocean Highway. Um, I think at that point, it probably turned into Sonora Freeway. I'm not quite sure. We were traveling in a blue BMW license plate. I can't remember at this time. I was a passenger in the vehicle while he was driving. Um, as we were driving down um, Sonora Freeway, uh, all of a sudden, we felt a pop on our tires, spun out of control, um, landed on the uh, side uh, would be the uh, west side of the road facing west um, what I was able to see once the uh, wheels popped was an officer standing there uh, throwing something into the middle of the road um, after I got out of the vehicle we were ordered at gunpoint uh, to get down on our knees um, I believe it was uh, 
Actually, that guy looks really familiar over there. Um, don't recollect the officer's name at this point, but ordered me down on my knees, uh, cuffed me, and uh, we sat there for a good half an hour um, until they uncuffed me and let me go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, did they give you any reasons why they uh, did this reckless act? Um, they actually, we asked several times. Uh, I got no answer from anybody until the sheriff showed up. I believe his name was Sheriff Honey. Uh, is he present today? Where's he at? Objection. No, you was, cannot, the object, objection. The prosecutor is referring to the situation okay. as reckless acts. That's motivating narrative. Okay, sir. How long were you detained for? Uh, approximately 25 to 35 minutes. Did they search your phone at all? Did they ask you about any text message that went out? Uh, they asked me about my phone, but I told them they did not have a right to search my phone. Did they issue you any tickets? Uh, negative. They did not issue me any tickets. Now, did Sammy Falcon pull over at any time before the spike strip incident? No, sir. He didn't pull? Okay. Objection. Narrative. The testimony claims that the person saw, apparently saw a police officer throwing something at the highway, but never said spikes. One would confer, <laughs> you, uh, your honor, that uh, they were spike strips, and I believe the officer will testify that they were spike. They were objection. Spike the testing, the, the the person giving the testimony is not recognized as an special as an specialist of police enforcement oh. rules. Prosecution. Okay. I suggest again to stay on direct questions. Do not yes, try yes. and create anything. Yes, I, I do. Need I'm sorry, to Your Honor. Honor, to the point. Honor, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get to the point. Hold on. I'm looking at my uh, my notepad here, real quick. Yeah, I thought, I thought we put the photos in here, man. At any time, at any time, did they offer you any EMS? No, sir. Objection, officer. Rele objection, runner. Relevance I'm, I'm, to the I'm case. Trying to, I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show how reckless the situation was. Okay, it's the whole purpose of waxing for EMS. I was involved in a car wreck, and and I did ask for EMS, but I was not given any. Okay. Um. Did you go to the hospital afterwards? I did go. Um, I had pain in my neck. I told the officers at the scene that I did have pain in my neck and my back. Uh, they did not take me, but afterwards I did go and get checked out at the medical facility. Okay. Now you said uh, you see an officer here that um, were possibly there, correct? Yes. Can you point uh, that officer out? That officer standing back there, um, this officer right here to the left, and then that one... Um, Standing back there, is he, does he got? Is he Mr. Intimidator? Is that what I called you, sir? I, I recognize you by voice. Uh, Some sir, in the back there. You, you, you also, you look, you look a lot alike. You know what I mean? You, you want to speak so we can hear you? Objection! He's harassing my client, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Okay. I. Okay. Um. So he was, okay, sir, were you uh, bailiff, were you there at the scene? I was. Okay. Uh, oh, I have no further He's questions. Not the I have no further, uh, I, you, yeah, you still I have no further you prosecution. May I suggest if you're going to ask questions, hold up. If you're going to ask questions, may I suggest you ask it to the witness and not the bailiff. If you're going to ask questions to the bailiff, you have to make him a witness. You understand that, right, hey, prosecution? He's, he's, He's he's gonna become he's gonna become a witness in a second. Uh, I don't Honor, I, you Honor, know this. We're honestly losing our time here. This witness was made up out of nowhere. He wasn't well, presented. Well, was, he I'm just. I'm talking, counselor. I'm sorry. I'm talking. I'm, I'm making my objection. You're, the witness was not presented on the affidavit. The witness is claiming that he has personal reasons to go here because he feels that he was threatened. He feels he feels that he was mistreated. His testimony is inclined to favor the prosecution, therefore cannot your, be taken as a your as honor, testimony. Thank you. Your Honor, I wasn't given a list of the officers over there on scene. Um, I've been asking around. I haven't got any straight answers. So now that we have a witness that can actually ID someone that was there, I would like to add him on to the docket, sir. 
Mm, talk to both of you in private one second, more second. time. Yes, you're on. Okay, I'm prosecution uh, into the family. Hey, 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 witness, can you step down, please, for a moment? Yes, your honor. Okay, hold. I want to figure this out right now. What was on the affidavit? Because I wasn't even given the affidavit by either of you. Either of you. He is neither. A he's a prosecutor. Neither. He okay. has to give it. Before this trial started, I requested a written deposition of this of the attorney about what happened to be able to prepare a proper defense. I, I wasn't aware he was I not going to give it to the court. I do have to ask you, did the defense hand over the information on the officers that were on the scene? Yes or no? What was that? I'm asking the defense right now. Did you hand over the names of the officers that were part of this scene? Yes or no? What was no. that? I couldn't hear you. I did not because that what was, was that, that was not requested. Well, it just we just discovered it. We just discovered it. Okay. Um, I like I told you, I've been going around all day trying to get these officers' names, and it's been difficult due to the lack of uh, officers available. Just to, to confirm, I I approached the counselor about three or four hours ago when we were discussing the planning, the whatnots of this trial. He chose the judge I didn't oppose. He could have asked me all the information he required. I was appointed by the Attorney General. I posted it on the social media. I posted it on the website. He never approached me. He lost did his you, right to request documentation. Did, did you did you at all tell me that you had all the officers' names? Because I didn't get that info from you. I didn't say. I never said that. Okay. So we have a witness coming up now. What I'm worried about the witness, Counselor you, and Your you, Honor, is you're that so, the witness... You're supposed to... You're you're supposed to still send the information to my office so I can look over the documents. The witness is claiming. Okay. What well, my problem with this witness is that this witness is referring to my client he, as the harasser. He's making a personal statement. Listen, a per he's making a personal uh, problem. Hold listen, up, listen, bo it, listen, both of you. Listen, both of you. I really want to know right now who was all involved. I want to know who was detained or arrested in this. Since uh, literally what I've got, I've got nothing besides the people involved. And what they're getting sued for, and no. what the other is claiming that they want. That's all I got on there this. There were no this paper since, the here defendant, in front of me. since the defendant oh, has uh, has the names so, of no, the. Well, nobody was detained. You're, you're nobody saying nobody was detained. was detained. Nobody, sir. There was only. Uh, that's that's uh, false because I was there for 20 minutes. There, you were not there. You said it was your son. It wasn't My son, you. I would for like to, I, wait, 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 wait. I would like to say. Your def your defendant, yeah, I mean your defense, your defense actually stated that they did detain two individuals. So there were two individuals detained. I you I believe he was that? referring. I believe he was referring to himself and the uh, person he picked up from Uber. I'm talking about Mr. Dub's statement about having two people detained. I believe that was you too. Mr. Sammy Duncan Jr. and there was, Mr. He said a lot more. He said he stopped two, and then he stopped one guy in the, in the Taurus, and then there was two guys in the Crown Vic or something like that, and there was two guys in the BMW. That's what he said. Well, we'll have to ask him again because I don't recall he said the specific numbers on the Impala and the Taurus. He did say there were people on the Taurus he interacted with. But he never specified a number. But again, what does that? What does this have to do with anything? He's claiming the damages on a BMW, not an Impala, not a Taurus. Well, it's well, it's exactly, it's the BMW. But you know what? If if they could, if that officer could testify on what was going on, also he could, he pretty much have the same story as him. I don't think okay, you have I'm gonna tell you. About. I'm gonna tell you this now. I'm wait. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this now. Both of you are gonna get it back out there. We're gonna continue this case. I want questions straight. I do not want ambiguous questions. If I hear another ambiguous question and I find it just so straight up out of the blue and hey, no, I don't think you're supposed to be basis. talking to this deputy. If you do not have a question on a basis and it stays to what we're doing right now, then this case will be dismissed and defense and defense will uh, have your witness the right to counterclaim. Okay. Of him, of oh, him, I'm your honor. Now, straight questions, prosecution. Straight questions. Yes. Yes. Understood, your honor. 
Okay, both um, you get back out there. We're going to finish this case up. You're not supposed to be talking to me. Uh, I'm a federal agent, so therefore I can talk to you. Therefore, what the talking hell is to going on a... out there? I give you a heads up, that witness World was star. talking to your uh, World star. customer. What did he say? That I don't know. World okay, star. uh... I'm talking. Your Honor, I just received information that the previous witness approached and harassed my client, and there was a discussion regarding this case, which is absolutely uh, illegal. Your Honor, his testimony Your Honor, is not over. Your Honor, motion to dismiss. Your Honor, your Honor this is a joke. You? Your Honor, I would like to continue. I would like to continue questioning my witness here. It's my turn. You already you requested a, a stop. Uh, so, oh. I'm, I'm okay. going to ask defense. You just stated that his witness that was just up here went over to your defendant yes, and sir. started questioning him, correct? Yes, there was a discussion, and I'm um, not sure of the concept es of escort, escort him out of the building, please. Escort the man in the white jacket out of here, please. Officer? Yeah. Dude, can I yeah. Yeah. This, lawyer, this lawyer's terrible. Out. Escort him out. Also, get the man Oh, wait! On the, I'm not wearing a jacket! Soda, I'm wearing a hoodie! Machine off the man, come on! Please. Why? Hey, Why lives matter? In jail. <laughs> Did he can, really have can, you, get the, can you guys get the man down from right there, please? Yeah, buddy, you okay, since we there. since can, since we cannot excuse get me, up. sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <clears throat> Your Honor, can I uh, I request to call up the bailiff as a witness, since he was there at the scene. Where in the bailiff, please? Yeah. Bailiff, Lord help me. Yeah. Oh, help me. Oh. Thanks, Amigo. Hey. Get a hand on the Bible. Raise your left. Do you swear to tell the truth, not but the truth. To... Do you swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. So help you John. All right. You good? Go. Don't say dog. So, uh, can you state your name for the? Court, please. My name is Dylan Jones. Where were you February 14th, 2018, around 11 o'clock? I was driving up Los Santos Freeway, just where it turns into Sonora. Okay, I'm, I'm pertaining, I'm talking about the events that occur with my client there, Sammy Falcon Jr. Are you asking for my story? Leave before I throw you in jail. Go ahead and uh, well, discuss the events that happened. Well, I was driving up Sonora Freeway. There's some radio traffic that had a, a couple of vehicles. I did some spike ships that were out in the road, and they needed to be detained. So I was coming up north on Sonora Freeway. I saw a blue BMW in the shoulder of the southbound lane. I cut over, put my lights on, and detained the two occupants that were inside. Who laid the spikes yourself? I'm not sure who laid the spike strips, but I do believe it was Sheriff McCarthy. What? Why were the spike strips down? Because of a pursuit. How long ago were the pursuit? How long was the pursuit out for? I'm unsure. Can you tell me the SOPs on uh, spike strips use? Well, Objection, to... Your Honor. This was asked already, and the and Dylan Jones is also yeah, was... a lieutenant, like your, lieutenant. Your Dobson. Honor, I was, Your Honor, I was asking somebody else. This is a different person, so I'm asking him the same questions. I'm gonna overrule and allow it. Can you go ahead and tell me your uh, procedure? Only. Pursuit, Tony. Dude, yeah. you can uh, in that po in that tires. policy, in that policy does it tell you how long you have to leave the spike strips on if the pursuit did not go by? So what what kind of situation do you use spike strips for? For pursuits, sir. What kind of pursuit were going on at the at the time? I'm unsure. You don't remember the color of the vehicle? He kind said of model. he's unsure, Your Honor. That's harassment. No, sir. So you you weren't listening on the radio, correct? I was not responding to that call now. 
typically, uh, what's your SOPs on pursuits? How many units respond? Approximately three to four, depending on the situation. Do you know how many were on that pursuit? I do not. Why were you in the area? So, so, what kind of vehicle were you chasing? I don't know. They... Objection. He nope. didn't. He, yeah. he said he was not. Objection, Your Honor. He said he was not okay. aware of a chase. Now, as a as an officer, as an Hold officer, uh, is it your job to listen was, to the radio? He did say there was a chase. This shit, Fuck. whack. Execution. Hold up. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck this shit, dude. He, oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna tell you both. Come back here one more time. This is getting out of hand. Yes, your honor. Go ahead and step down for a moment, bailiff. What are we doing yeah, to here, me, your this honor? This is just going to circle. Yeah. Okay. This, this this is getting nowhere. I'm I'm about to dismiss this case honestly okay 20k last you're, offer you have you're, anything to offer the prosecution your your honor what i'm trying to show is how reckless they were they didn't offer any ems to my client in there or the passenger they held him at gunpoint they left the spike strips out for an unknown amount of time you you've already asked these questions though yes that's and it's that's what i'm proving a problem Okay, the problem, it, the it problem with your, anything it doesn't prove the, anything the because one. you haven't been able to prove that that actually happened. Even your witness, the only person that you brought to the court to prove that all that you're claiming went and harassed the officer instead of be quiet and following protocol, it is obviously, obvious he had a personal think on him. And when you have a personal think against someone, you can say whatever you want, even at the risk of committing perjury. There's nothing on this case. 20k plus 5k of my purse just because of the effort, and yeah. we'll call it a day. If not, I'm gonna request what, what, a motion was... to dismiss, and I'm gonna counterclaim for perjury well, on your you witness. This. And me... I'm gonna ask perjury... Sammy, Sammy Lopez Jr. to come to the Calm screen. down, both of you now. Calm Let... down, both of you now. Okay, can I talk to the prosecution myself, uh, Your Honor? I'll give you a moment. So listen, yeah. Listen, I can go back. I can go get the surveillance camera from uh, the tool, tool store over there. I can 20k now, the or I'm gonna request motion to dismiss. 20k and 5k for can, you. That's all I can do. I'm ready, can, Your Honor. Can, hold on, sir. Hold, hold on, sir. Okay, I'll take it. All right. I'll take it. Your Honor, we have come to an agreement. Your Honor, we have come to an agreement. What's the agreement? The defense claims Gross. that although there are no cause for there are no probable cause or effect for an, for a damage to a vehicle, we consider to use one of the funds that is called ridicule. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I have to compose myself. We have a fund here on the department for disasters. We can take a part of that disaster and apply a $20,000 uh, compensation and a $5 compensation to the attorney on these terms. One, you gotta hire me, man. dismiss the motion. Two, promise Sammy Jr. will go to a, to, a, to, to a driving school again. He will take classes again. And third, he will be more careful from now on if he gets detained from false 911 calls or reckless driving, we will we will be harsher with the punishment. If that terms are applied, are accepted, I will give him $25,000 now, and we can dismiss the case. That's the offer, Your Honor. Okay. I agree. I agree to it. All right. Put then let it be let it be shown that this case is dismissed. The I'm trying to be a newspaper guy. It didn't work out. I don't have like a. The payment has been done.